What's this going on guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be talking about the game between Wolves and Crystal Palace at Molyneux, the final Wolves home game of the season, and it wasn't exactly a classic, let's just put it that way. It was a good game, and a, a good performance, especially in the second half as well, we really pushed on in the second half, but it wasn't a glamorous performance, but it was kind of one of those performances where it's not pretty, but you just get the job done. And especially what happened, uh, especially after what happened last time out against Burnley, we definitely deserved it. And possibly we couldn't, have, we could have done it a bit more clamorously, but you know, we needed those three points to to keep ourselves in pole position for qualifying for the Europa League for next season. Because obviously, because of Mike Dean and Kevin Friend and the absolute buffoons that run they are, you know. We we co that's cost us Champions League football now, and it's really disappointing. Really, really disappointing. We can still qualify through the Europa League. We can still get Champions League through that. So <laughs> it's not all doom and gloom. We we well, we're not exactly Arsenal. We don't we didn't we don't rely on qualify for the Champions League. We got the job done, as I say, and especially in the first half, it was pretty dogged. It was pretty even, and I mean Crystal Palace. We weren't expecting much from them. We weren't expecting much from them today. Considering they've just they've, they've lost their last six games going into this one, and Roy Hodgson, I honestly think I don't I don't think he'll be there at the end of the season, and I kind of I kind of feel sorry for Crystal Palace fans because Roy Hodgson, after the laughing stock that he made our nation, as well, both at the 2014 World Cup and the 2016 Euros, I, I'm surprised he's still getting work. I really am surprised he's still getting work, and especially the run that Crystal Palace are on today. They looked awful. They looked a bit like Bournemouth and. I mean, they're, they've got to, they're, they've got to count, they'll count themselves lucky that they're safe. They've been safe for a long time now, but they've got to count themselves lucky because from what I saw from them tonight, they weren't at it at all and they made it... I mean, it was... was a, a, we, we did put in a good shift, but we did we were helped out by Crystal Palace's sloppiness and especially for the first goal as well from Andor, Andros Townsend. It just typified the, the kind of run that Crystal Palace have been on over the past few games or over the past seven games they've lost a they're past seven league games now, so they're on a torrid, torrid run of form. And as I say, well, they're they're safe. They've been safe for quite a few games now, but it's not the kind of run they want to be on. And I mean, I really, I was really surprised that Nigel Pearson was sacked from Watford because he's actually done a pretty good job. And you know, they've been on an okay kind of run. Roy Hodgson was the one I expected, especially after that two 0 defeat to Villa. Apart from that, that that goal that was disallowed, that they're pretty unlucky with, they they were poor. They they were poor in that game as well. And I mean, I wasn't really expecting much in this game from Crystal Palace either. And there you go. All the efforts they had on goal were pretty comfortable for Rui Patricio, and it was, I have to say, it was pretty comfortable for us all night. And let's talk about the goal because it's it's a it's kind of a mix of sloppiness from Crystal Palace, but also. Also, brilliance, a br brilliant team play. Andros Townsend loses the ball, and it falls to Matt Doherty, who plays it back to Jao Moutinho. Jao Moutinho chip, chips it back in to Matt Doherty, who taps it across for Podence to nod home. I mean, that's just brilliant. That's that kind of it gives me kind of flashbacks of that that Sheffield United goal that was scored in the. That the Jota finished off in the championship when we won three 0 It kind of reminds me of that because it's just all slick, one one touch football, and it was Barcelona esque really. And the same here, and it's brilliant football, brilliant football, and we deserve that goal definitely because I mean it wasn't the prettiest of first halves, and we we did we did definitely have to to have to grind out that goal because we don't score many first half goals. I think that's only the fourteenth goal we've scored in the first half all season long so we, we really do rely on our second half performances and we went one nil up and we looked pretty con convincing in the second half and we, we backed up that lead and uh, Crystal Palace I mean Roy Hodgson I mean for, for Crystal Palace's sake I, I think I think Roy Hodgson should personally leave at the end of the season or or or, or the board should should sack him because I, I, as I say I don't know how he's still in the job I don't know how, but well, I just hope for Crystal Palace's fans' sake that 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 they, that they get rid of him because no 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 team 
it, no team goes on on a on a on a run of, of seven league defeats in a row. Just 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 by luck, it's it's some there's something fundamentally broken there. But that's not really mine. Not that's not really my mine to comment. Obviously, because we're the ones winning two nil. But just feel a, a little bit sorry because uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't our best performance of the season. There's 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 no doubt about that. There's what it, it was it was far from it. And well, we we roll on. We roll on now to the, the game against Chelsea. The, jo the, the Johnny goal, by the way. I mean, it was brilliant. He, he, it's the most unlikely to score. Uh, unlikely to score is a, a bit of individual brilliance by Adam Traoré to completely mug off the Palace fullback, and he and he cut it back for Raúl Jiménez. Uh, who also cut it back for Johnny, who took a couple of touches and steadied himself and placed it into the bottom right-hand corner. And there there you have it, 2-0. Comfortable win, not the most glamorous of wins, but it's one we deserved after the performance we put in and the goal we scored against Burnley as well. We absolutely deserved that, but a, a piece of refereeing controversy and idiocy as well cost us Champions League football in the end. We have to, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens in the Europa League, and also let's 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 focus on just whatever happens in the Europa League, making sure we're at least in U the Europa League for next season by uh, maybe getting a point out of out of the Chelsea game because that would be tough because Chelsea, well, I'd say they're 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 there or thereabouts for Champions League qualification now, but they'll want to their their final game of the season their final home game of the season as well, they'll want to win that as well. So it'll be a tough place to go to. We nearly won there, obviously. We nearly won last season, but for an injury time, Eden Hazard equaliser. But let's let's see what happens. Let's hope hopefully we can end the season on a high. We've we've most certainly ended the home season on a lot on a high with a win. And hopefully we can do the same for, for the season in general. And away at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this match review. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. I'd like to, I'd like to know what you thought of the game in the comment section below. And I'll see you on Sunday with my thoughts on the Chelsea game, and hopefully it's some more positive thoughts because it's been a bit, bit, it's been a bit mixed the past couple of weeks, and a bit of an up and down, a couple of defeats, a couple of uh, VR controversies that uh, annoyed me because you know we, we deserved. We we deserved more than a point out of the Burnley game, and we didn't get it. But that's 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 for that's for the officials to sort out their own problems, and we we can't really control that. But we'll have to we'll have to we just have to keep on winning now, and just keep the momentum going. But yeah, I'll see you on s Sunday with my thoughts on the Chelsea game. Until then, goodbye, guys. Round and round we go, losing self control. Tell myself, but I don't wanna let you know. Is this what we become? Strangers on the run, looking for something, chasing the sun.